Hi, I'm Manuel. Welcome to this video. This video is the starting point of a serverless project. Now, serverless? Max already talked about that, right? Yes, he did, but he talked about serverless solutions in the area of web development. In this project, we will take a look at a serverless service AWS offers for big data topics. So we will take a look at Amazon Athena. Now, what is Athena actually? Well, Athena is simply a service that allows you to query data of your source files and by that access that information in it by simply using some SQL. Now, why is this amazing? Well, if you think about big source files, so this means file sizes amounting to multiple gigabytes, and you want to access that data and, as I said, get information out of it, then you might soon have problems if you use Excel or a text editor. But if you use Athena, you can do that really easily. So we will take a look at Athena, but if you never worked with that or if you are not really familiar with big data, it might not be totally clear for you at this stage why we need that actually. And that's the reason why this project will be split into four different parts. The first part is this video right now, so the project start. So we talk about the background of the project and in a few minutes we will also take a look at two different big data workflows in AWS and by that understand why we need Athena or why we might need Athena actually. And after that we will take a look at Amazon S3 in the next video. Now what is S3 now? Well S3 is simply a cloud storage AWS offers where you can load your data to. So we will take a look at S3, learn how to create a bucket and a folder for example and understand what it is and also take a look at the settings that you can make in S3. Now and why do we need S3 actually? Well we need S3 because we can only use Athena with files loaded into S3. And this brings us to the next video actually. The third part of the project will finally focus on to Athena. And by that, this is going to be the core video of this project, of course. So we will understand, well, what Athena is and how it works. This means we will take a look at how to create tables, how to create databases, and how to use SQL to query data in our source file. After we finish that, well, most important video actually, there is one last thing that I would like to show you. And this last thing is related to QuickSight. Now, QuickSight is also something we talked about on this channel. But this time I want to show you how you can connect QuickSight to Athena and by that visualize the data you queried in Athena. And that's it actually. That's the project structure and that's what we're going to do in the next videos. But I think now is the time to take a closer look at Athena and to understand how it fits into a potential AWS big data workflow. So let's take a look at that right now. Well, each big data workflow actually starts with this, with the creation of data, of course. Now, this can be data in any kind of format and any type of data, so log data, for example. The important thing is that after this data is created, you could store this data in S3. As I said, S3 is this Amazon cloud service. We will take a look at that in the next video. Well, you have this data now in S3, but this is raw and unclean data. So it might be necessary to work on that data, well, to clean them and to bring them into a different structure or format. To do this, you could use another AWS service. This service is called Amazon EMR, Elastic MapReduce. You can find it right here. Again, the important thing is that after you finish that processing and cleaning of your data, you can store them again. And what do you use? Well, you can again use S3. Now you have that stored data in S3, but actually if you have really big data from multiple sources, you might not want to store them right here, but you might want to load them into a data warehouse right now. And a possible data warehouse in AWS is Redshift right here. And with that, you now have your basic workflow from the initial source data that you create up to the clean data that is stored now in your data warehouse and by that, well, ready to be analyzed. And for this analysis, you can use, of course, QuickSight. As I said, we also talked about that already in another video. So this is the structure process that you can use to work on your data. But what if you want to access your raw data, so data in this stage, immediately? Well, then you won't use all these steps, because you only want to get a quick insight into it actually. 
Well, then we can skip these steps and then we need another tool because what we want to do is we want to query data that we stored in S3. Again, this could be simple raw data. Well, and as you probably can imagine, this is where Athena comes into play. So with Athena, we can directly access the data stored, so the raw data stored in S3. And additionally, we can also visualize the data in QuickSight. And that's the focus of this project, this workflow I showed you right here. Well, and with that, you now have a basic overview of what we want to do in this project and about what service we want to take a look at. And with that, I now want to start the project actually. I hope the same thing is true for you. So let's start in the next video by taking a closer look at S3. Hope to see you there. Bye bye.